problem. This thing's going to collapse. That's it. That's an hour. Let's cut it. Turn it off. Copy. So it just goes to show you got to test things. That's the sound of disappointment, ladies and gentlemen. These tank cars are actually pretty tough little bastards. But uh, as always, we have one more trick up our sleeve. Yep, this has been such an ordeal. There is no way we are just going to leave it here. We are now going to arrange for our tanker car to encounter a bit of a, shall we say, accident. <laughs> All we need is a crane to drop something big and heavy on our tanker car. And luckily, it turns out that the sheriff who's been helping us out has access to a crane. That is how we roll. So we're going to use that to lift this about 30 feet above that. And then we're going to drop it. Hopefully, it'll leave a nice big dent in our tank car. And then when we pull a vacuum on it, that dent will cause the whole thing to buckle up, kind of like pulling a single card out of a house of cards. At least that's what we hope. Yep, it's an extremely unlikely series of events, but it is possible. That looks good to me, Jamie. After their simulated collision, they'll pull a final vacuum to recreate the steam cleaning and see if that causes a crumple. This is intense. Dropping 3,200 pounds on a tank car. Something we didn't expect to be doing in this episode. Three, two, one. Bullseye. Yeah. That's ideal. <laughs> With their completely accidental damage done, it's deja vu all over again. All right, Dean, go ahead and start the vacuum. The vacuum pump fires up, starts sucking, and the pressure plunges. Will the kink in the steel compromise the structural integrity? 10 minutes, 21 inches of mercury. That is a hell of a vacuum pump right there. Yeah. It's also a hell of a dent. It's a perfect dent we made. Yeah. 23, 23 inches. Come on. Come on, you melon farmer. Mercury. Holy cow! This is all about the geometry. Just like with a chicken's egg, it's really quite strong and you can't break them in your hand if you squeeze them. But all it takes is one little crack on the side of the frying pan and you've got a dent just like what we put in this tank car and the whole thing unravels. Man, look at that. That is beautiful. I've never seen anything quite like that. Something that large and sturdy being deformed like that. It's kind of hard to take it in. It really is. It doesn't seem right somehow. I'm getting a kind of a scale vertigo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>